Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the new version 2.8.1 of my dot files. I will walk you through all configurations of the dot files folder. The dot files 2.8.1 comes with an important change because I have replaced sway idle and sway lock with hyper idle and hyper lock. Two packages coming directly from the hyperland developer team. These new packages should solve some laptop issues that some users have reported. At the end of the video, I have something special for you. You will find there a sneak peek, a short snippet of the key feature of the dot files 2.9. You can download the version 2.8.1 from my GitLab repository and have fun with it. Let's jump in. After a successful installation of my dot files, you can find the dot files in the folder dot files. And you know that every configuration got a sim link from the dot files folder into the dot config folder. For example, when I open here in the dot config folder, the folder hyper for the hyperland configuration, I switch into the dot files folder because the both are connected with a sim link. Let's open code. And I want to guide you through all the folders here in the dot files folder. The first folder is the settings folder. Here you can find several files that describe the default applications. For example, the default browser is Chromium and uh, the Weber script, for example, executes this file and starts then Chromium. Or the file manager is Thuna or the network manager is NM connection editor. Software is Alacrity hyphen E Paxic. The terminal is Alacrity and you can override this with your preferred application. For example, if you want to use Firefox instead, you can replace Chromium with Firefox. Here is a new file in the 2.8.1. Here you can change the border width of Rofi. So when I start Rofi, you see there is a three pixel wide border around. Let's change this to one pixel and start Rofi again. And now you see you have a one pixel border in Rofi. The next folder is dot .version. In this folder dot .version, you can find information to the current installed dot .files version. In the Alacrity folder, you see here the alacrity.toml file. And this is a new format to um, configure the Alacrity. The outdated version is available here. It's much more complex. This is the new one. In the apps folder, you find here the app image of the My Linux for Work welcome app. Let's open the welcome app by clicking here the logo on the upper right side. Here are some new things implemented. For example, here is a new entry system info. And this is a new feature that comes with Hyperland. There is a new HyperCTL command to get the system information from the current Hyperland installation. In the settings part, you see now that it's a bit more structured than in the last version. Yeah, so we have here an appearance section, we have a waybar section, we have an SDDM section, and a system section and new features are here that you can install time shift the front end to create snapshots on your system directly from the my linux for work welcome app and you can also set and define the thuna terminal means the terminal that is currently defined as default terminal can here be connected with thuna let's do this Alacrity is now set as the Thuna terminal. And now we can open Thuna. For example, when I move into the folder wallpaper, I can open here this folder with the terminal. 
you see here I'm now in the wallpaper folder and here are all the wallpapers. The next folder is Dunst. Dunst is the notification uh, application that I use for this configuration. For example, when I switch to another wallpaper, you see here this is the Dunst notification and you can configure Dunst in this file. GTK, here are all GTK theme definitions defined for GTK 3, 4 and 2.0. You can override this also with here in the appearance section with change GTK theme and it opens NWG look. Now we come to something new, the hyper folder. And with 2.8.1, I have switched from Sway Idle and Sway Lock to very young new packages directly from the Hyperland developer. It's Hyper Idle and Hyper Lock. You can define listeners that activates a script after a dedicated amount of time. In that case, it's a listener with a timeout of 600 seconds, means 10 minutes, and after that time, it starts the script hyperlock. And another listener starts after 660 seconds and executes system CTL to start the suspend mode. When you click with the right mouse button on the lock symbol, you can start hyperlock. And this is how it looks like when I enter my password and go back to my system. These are very young and new packages, but, but I really like the way how I can configure it and also already in such an early stage, um, high stability. And you know, in the hyper folder, you of course also find the Hyperland configuration where I source in the configuration files here from the config folder. In the subfolders, you find several variations for example, here in the and in the animations folder, you have here four variations for different kind of window animations and so on and so on. You can execute these variations in the settings script with control super key S. You go here to appearance, go to decorations, for example, and rounding more blur, execute it and you have a higher blur. When you go back with the escape button, go to Windows and select border one, execute it, and then you have a one pixel border. Yeah, and this is everything here available as variations in the conf folder. In the scripts folder, you find here several scripts that you can discover on your side to disable the display manager, to exit Hyperland, switch to uh, activate the GTK theme and so on and so on. The login folder, if you use the TTY login, you find here a theme for the TTY login that you can activate then. But of course you have to disable SDDM. Here is the NeoWim configuration. PyCom is the configuration is here for Qtile effects. The Qtile configuration is here in the Qtile folder. The auto start is here and the configuration file for Qtile. This is Rofi, including all the templates. The 2.8.1 includes here a bit optimized wallpaper selector. Now you have here three rows. You can see more um, wallpapers from the beginning and can select one. And you have another style on your desktop. This is the screenshot folder where you find screenshots from the dot files from the last versions. The scripts include several useful scripts that are embedded and include into the overall setup. This is SDDM, including the script to set the wallpaper, the current wallpaper for SDDM and to disable and or to enable SDDM. This is the Starship prompt. This is what I use here. This is Swappy to manage the screenshots. When I press super key print and I click on select area, 
and select an area. This is then swappy and you can save the file or copy the image. This is WIM configuration. In wall, you can find the templates for PyWall. Yeah, these are the special templates that are added to the standard PyWall templates to set the colors of Hyperland, the colors of Rofi, the colors of Weber and the colors of WLockout. Weber is here. You can find here also the Weber theme switcher. So when you click here on the three dots, you know, you can switch the theme. And now I switch to the minimal theme. By the way, now as requested from many users now here with an Arch Linux icon. And the themes are here available in the themes folder. We are currently in the minimal theme and the configuration is here. And this is W log out. When you click on layout, you can find here all the commands of W log out. And last but not least, very important, the .bashrc file, where you can find all available aliases, the git commands, and so on and so on. And that's it. The version 2.8.1 is now available for you. And as promised at the beginning, here is the sneak peek of the key feature of the upcoming version 2.9. Yeah, something exciting is coming to the dot files in the next version. With that, have fun with 2.8.1 and see you next time.